It could happen any day to any firefighter on any radio system, no matter if it's analog or digital. Background noise, a siren, a saw, a pump panel, or a pass device on an SCBA can cause audio distortion and drown out communication. Sound familiar? Whether you use analog or digital, it's important to understand how to best use your portable radio to maximize its features and make sure your communication is loud and clear. Clear, coherent communications are mission critical to all first responding agencies. That's why communications manufacturers have been working with the International Association of Fire Chiefs, the IAFC, to test, track, and pinpoint the best ways for firefighters to maximize communication intelligibility and overcome background noise whenever they use a portable or mobile radio, no matter where they are, no matter if it's analog or digital. From Chicago to Orlando, New Jersey to North Carolina, in big cities and small towns, Motorola has met with hundreds of firefighters to understand their challenges and respond with real-world solutions and robust technology that meets their needs from the firehouse to the fire ground. Mission Critical Communications is not only our work, it's been our passion for over 75 years. And this experience is critical to improving your safety and success. But before we look at how to cut noise and clear up communications, let's look back. It's late 2006 and the IAFC has received reports from several fire departments concerned about audio distortion when they operate digital radios in environments with high levels of background noise. The IAFC establishes a digital problem working group that reaches across agency and industry lines to specifically address this issue. We created a special task force, the Best Practices Subcommittee, to investigate this problem and to recommend potential solutions that we could implement today to improve communications. The questions we posed was, what can radio users do to minimize or eliminate distortion? The task force brought together radio manufacturers and fire service agencies to discuss and test the best ways to achieve this. They determined that the quickest and easiest way for field radio users to minimize background noise and to improve intelligibility of their speech was by using best practices and by training users how to do it. The IAFC developed a set of best practices that radio users can follow in a number of everyday scenarios. It's simple but effective training on how to best use the radio as a technological tool. The best practices are something that everyone can do immediately to improve their communications. Using IFC best practices, along with optimal customer programming software settings in the radio can improve the audio quality and intelligibility significantly. And that can make all the difference between incoherent audio and clear communication. Here are three key recommendations from the IAFC best practices. And here is the phrase to remember them every time you use your radio. Shield. Move talk. Shield the microphone from noise. Use a free hand when possible and turn away from the source of the noise. Use your helmet brim or visor to shield your microphone from rain or water. Move the microphone to your mouth one to two inches directly in front of your mouth. If you're wearing an SCBA, move the microphone to the voice port of your mask. Talk in a loud, clear, controlled voice. Don't shout. Shield. Move. Talk. Remember this phrase and you're well on your way to clear and coherent communication. Now, let's look and listen to six different scenarios most firefighters encounter. First, we'll show you some incorrect ways firefighters use when trying to communicate. Then, we'll show you the IAFC's recommended best practices. We bet you'll hear the difference loud and clear. Scenario number one is no SCBA, no noise. Here, you don't have to battle background noise, but the microphone is three to five inches away, still too far away from the voice source. The radio isn't being optimized. Your voice isn't loud and clear. 
Here's what it sounds like on analog. Man, engine 112 crew, we have a firefighter down on the fourth floor. Here's what it sounds like on digital. Ladder 303, show the fire. How long until you're on scene? Now, the best practices. Simply move the microphone one to two inches in front of your mouth. Talk directly into it. Don't shout. Hold it close to your mouth like a megaphone or bugle. Here's what best practices sounds like on analog. Command, engine 123 crew, we are continuing the search in the basement. And here's digital. Charlotte Fire, engine 317 is en route to the scene, ETA 10 minutes. In both cases, the difference is loud and clear. Scenario number two is no SCBA, pump panel noise. This is a common situation where you're a few feet from the pump panel and you're not wearing SCBA gear. If the mic is on your lapel, it is too far away to properly transmit your voice. You sound underwater instead of telling the unit you're sending water. Here's what it sounds like on analog. And here's digital. Now, the best practices. Move the microphone one to two inches in front of your mouth. Talk directly into it. Don't shout. Turn away from the pump panel. Move away from the pump panel whenever possible. Here's what best practices sounds like on analog. Track 32 is on the scene, 5449 West 55th Street, westbound. And here's digital. Engine 20 engineer to engine 20 officer, here comes the water. In both cases, the difference is loud and clear. Scenario number three is no SCBA, mobile noise. This is a very common scene where you're in the fire truck when it's moving and you're not in SCBA gear. The microphone is too far away to properly transmit your voice, particularly as the engine accelerates, the road noise escalates, and the siren wails. Here's what it sounds like on analog. Engine 31, Chicago Fire. Confirm you're responding to 17 Smith Street. And here's digital. Chief 11, platform 14. This is both complaining that the track is south end. Now the best practices. Move the microphone one to two inches in front of your mouth. Talk directly into it. Don't let it hang from the rearview mirror and shout into it. Move it directly in front of your mouth. Here's what best practices sounds like on analog. Plantation Fire Engine 317 is en route to the scene. ETA, 10 minutes. And here's digital. Engine 421, Chief 40. Base is set up at Maple and James Street. In both cases, the difference is loud and clear. Scenario number four is SCBA, no external noise. Here, you're on the air supply listening to the sound of your own inhalation and exhalation. There's no pass device or alarm, but the microphone is too far away from the voice port and speech is muffled. The radio isn't being optimized. Your voice isn't loud and clear. Here's what it sounds like on analog. 84 is on the scene, 5944 South State. We're northbound, we have a fire. And here's digital. Now, the best practices. Move the microphone and place it directly on the voice port of your SCBA mask. Place it on the voice port, not the voice amplifier. Talk in a loud, clear voice. Don't shout. Here's what best practices sounds like on analog. Mayday, mayday, mayday. I am in the basement. Firefighter Gaines from truck 5. I am trapped. And here's digital. Command, engine company 5 crew. Can you repeat your last message? Engine company 29, Elm Command. Command is set up at Elm and Henry Street. In both cases, the difference is loud and clear. Scenario number five is SCBA with pass alarm noise. Here, you are not moving and your pass device is loudly going off. The microphone is too far away and your speech is overpowered by the sound of the alarm. The radio isn't being optimized. Your voice isn't loud and clear. Here's what it sounds like on analog.
and here's digital. Now, the best practices. Move the microphone and place it directly on the voice port of your SCBA mask. Put it on the voice port, not the voice amplifier. Talk in a loud, clear voice. Don't shout. Here's what best practices sounds like on analog. Command, engine 131. We're conducting a primary search. And here's digital. Engine 31, show up fire. your response to 17 Smith Street. In both cases, the difference is loud and clear. Best practices are even more critical as new vocoder and noise reduction algorithms are introduced. So remember, move the mic and place it directly on the voice port of your SCBA mask in these scenarios. The IAFC recommends that alarm emitters be located as far away from the radio and microphone as possible. The IAFC also recommends using a free hand when practical to muffle your alarm emitter when activated. Both of these steps can significantly improve audio quality and clarity. Scenario number six is SCBA with rotary saw noise. Here, a firefighter is using a K-12 saw in your presence. The microphone is too far away, and your speech is overpowered by the mechanized noise in front of you. The radio isn't being optimized. Your voice isn't loud and clear. Here's what it sounds like on analog. And here's digital. Now the best practices. Move the microphone and place it one to two inches in front of your mouth. If you are wearing an SCBA, put the microphone on the voice port of your mask. Turn away and move away if possible from the source of the noise and talk directly into the microphone in a loud, clear voice. Don't shout. Here's what best practices sounds like on analog. I'm out of air. And here's digital. Mayday, mayday, mayday. I am on the roof. Firefighter don't. I don't have a way off. In both cases, the difference is loud and clear. Whether you have analog or digital communications, high levels of background noise are a continual challenge. But simple steps used properly can make a major difference. Today's radios are intricate devices with many configurable options. Some of these options can have a significant impact on a radio's performance when operating in high noise environments. That's why the IAFC recommends that departments work with their vendors to ensure their radios and accessories are configured with the optimal settings for audio quality and clarity. Consult with your radio manufacturer on how to best program your radio and how to properly use it. It's a critical piece of equipment, so make sure it really works for you. Accessories for your radio can make a dramatic difference too. The IASC recommends the use of speaker mics, throat mics, and in-ear mics to reduce the impact of noise. Retractable microphone attachments also help bring the microphone closer to your mouth and let it return to its clip while you're wearing an SCBA. Reducing background noise requires a multifaceted approach. Working with various fire service manufacturers, customizing radio settings, and using the right accessories. But an immediate solution with the most positive impact is training and best practices. While efforts and investments continue amongst various product manufacturers to bring additional noise reduction technology to the fire ground, best practices can dramatically decrease distortion and increase intelligibility starting today. If our firefighters implement best practices in training right now, they can maximize the performance of the most important technological tool, the portable radio. With the IASC best practices, you can say it and hear it loud and clear. The IAFC best practices is the best way to say no to background noise and yes to clear communication.